I'm back with the Toshiba Encore Mini. That's this seven inch device right here. Now I wanted to start a little video series uh, just kind of going through the device. Uh, the, the only thing I've done with this so far uh, besides the unboxing video is turn it on and set it up as per the uh, you know the little Microsoft startup on Windows 8 where it uh, asks you your username and what I did is I just installed it as a new PC. I wanted to see exactly what Toshiba puts on the device and exactly how much um, Croft is on there and uh, what the disk space is like. Now you know that this has a 16 gigabyte uh, eMMC uh, storage on it, 1 gig of RAM, uh, Windows 8.1 with Bing. It's got a front 0.3 uh, megapixel and a rear 2 megapixel, uh, micro USB 2.0 and uh, micro uh, uh, 2.0 here and the micro SD slot right here. So uh, it supports up to 128 gig, by the way. Now, the screen, uh, you know, it's not too bright. It's a little fuzzy. It's not Acer W3 fuzzy, but it's not, uh, it's certainly not Surface 2, and it's certainly not Surface Pro 3. But uh, you know what? For what I'm going to use this device for, I think it's going to work out. Now, I'm sliding over here to show you exactly what Toshiba is putting on the device. They have put on here... Uh, a live tile with Toshiba Central. It gives you the user's guide, your serial number, which is really nice. Self-service, how-tos, forums, main support. Uh, they got a little Twitter, and of course they would like to sell you even more stuff. Now for accessories, they've got uh, a snap case. Uh, it's regularly uh, 20 bucks, and they've got it on online for $11.99. They've got a wireless keyboard uh, for $41.99, and a touchscreen pen. Uh, for capacitive devices, it's not. Uh, there's not a, a digitizer on this. It's just one of those rubber tip pens. Um, nothing special, but there is a case for this uh, because you got a lot of plastic back here uh, that you might want to, you know, protect. You got to protect this plastic here. <laughs> uh, let me show you the desktop here because they did a couple of things in the desktop. Um, this is my uh, being live live wallpapers, by the way. So you've got. Um, uh, Toshiba, I'm going to long press these and get uh, Toshiba Start on the, that was pinned. Storage place. I assume that you can't see this on the uh, on the video. I'm sorry. There's a storage place icon on the taskbar, and there's also a travel place. And long press that one. Toshiba Favorites. So they've uh, they crafted up your desktop a little bit. So you're going to have to deal with that. We'll get into those later. Now here's something I wanted wanted you to really take a look at. Yeah, and you just can't. But I'm in uh, crap. Got to figure out this lighting business. Um, I am in Explorer. That sort of did it. And you can see, maybe you can't see, but the disk drive C is 10.7 gig in size, and I have 4.63 available. Now, I didn't do any updates, but obviously this thing was updating in the background because when I started out this morning, I have 5.1 uh, available to me. So, let's just go in here to settings and change PC settings. You can see just exactly how this thing performs if it is uh, too slow for your fancy. Uh, let's just check now. Uh, checking for updates. So, all I did was just basically put my user ID in there, put uh, as a new PC, and I told it to uh, to load Windows. I, I did uh, a customized setup where I can choose all the different items. Uh, it's still checking for updates. We'll come back on that. I wanted to show you, let me get to this, uh, some speed here. Screen came about halfway on the... Uh, on the display, the brightness there. What I wanted to do is go to tiles and show you, you can actually go show more tiles and it makes it, I think, a little more uh, friendlier here. Maybe let's go into the desktop that you can't see again, long press the desktop and look at screen resolution. Look at a couple of things that were at 1280 by 768 
and uh, Windows is already throwing an error on there saying uh, your resolution is lower than 1200 by 900 some items may not fit on your on your screen so yeah it's it's a low resolution device and but you, you're gonna have to get used to that uh, I don't know if you noticed man but the bezels on this thing are just ginormous uh, most of the thing is covered in bezel let's put it here next to the surface 2 you can see the size and I've launched something here let's see what else I can launch um, so there's surface 2 Surface Pro 3 behind it, uh, you know, it's quite massive. Seven inches. Uh, it's not that big. It's it's very easy to hold. If you've had a, a seven-inch Android tablet, you know exactly how this feels. Um, we'll see how good uh, desktop is on this, but I found it to be... Come on. Switch over. Switch over. Here you see and just... Yeah, we'll just bang it. That That usually does the trick. Um, <clears throat> so again, that's a Toshiba Encore Mini, and this is not the Encore 2. Don't, don't confuse it. This is the Encore Mini. This is a first video in a series of, of looks at this device, and stay tuned to Surface Geeks and this YouTube channel for more.